Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's a happy day today. I got my tank back from my painter. Um, I picked up a, a spare tank off, a, a black tank off a, a guy who was parting out a bike after an accident and uh, he wasn't insured. Anyway, I had uh, that tank stripped and I um, had it painted iridium blue, which is a sort of mid-metallic blue, uh, but I got sick of it after a couple of years. And when I saw this particular color, I loved it. And I had uh, a painter mate of mine uh, paint it for me and it just, uh, it just came back. Now, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna tell you what color it is, but I want you to guess. It is a real color. It's not uh, a made up color by me, uh, a fairly new color. And uh, tell you what, if you guess correctly, if you like, subscribe, guess correctly in the comments below. Uh, I will put you into the draw uh, and I'll draw someone at random to uh, win a set of snorkel stickers. I've ordered a, a couple of sets, so I'll, uh, I'll mail out a set to the lucky winner who guesses correctly this lovely colour. All right, here we go. Wishka! I think it is beautiful. Very, very, very pretty colour. All right, so make sure you comment below. Now, uh, what colour do you think it is? Now, the roundels, they call them little BMW badges, expensive little suckers, they're about 50, 60 bucks each. Uh, Double-sided tape on the back. You, uh, you obviously fit them into the recess here. Now, I wanna get the lines as, as close to you know, factory perfect as possible, so I will show you how I uh, how I go about fitting the roundels. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, here we are. Now, what I've done, I've used some uh, 3M painters tape. Uh, it's blue painters tape. It's about one inch wide. Um, it's uh, it doesn't have you know uh, what do you call it. Um, a gummy back to it you know you can peel off and put it back on without leaving any residue uh, which is great but it's also being painters tape it, it holds a really straight line which is great so what I want to do is place it dead square in the middle of the the center line of the uh, the roundel run it up to a point at the top of the tank now uh, I'm lucky that I've got the exposed weld so I can measure from here to a point uh, on the uh, the fuel uh, filler and then uh, mark that out on the on the new tank. So what I've uh, worked out is is exactly 30, 30 millimeters from the uh, tape to the edge of the fuel filler, the fuel cap. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll mark that out on the uh, new tank uh, and get the lines. Uh, now this is going to be the same for both sides, obviously, if you want the lines to be. Um, exactly at the same angle okay okay now i haven't uh, haven't put the fuel uh, filler uh, in yet in the gasket and all the rest of that but um, just for illustration purposes i've uh, marked out 30 millimeters from the um, the edge there of the fuel uh, filler recess uh, to a point here uh, and i've used the um, uh, you know, the markings on the inside of the fuel filler to find center and made a little pencil mark here. Now also here uh, on the recess, you can see our friends in Germany, when they made the tank, there's this little round, a further indent, a little mark on the, uh, the inside of this recess, which makes it very, very easy to find the center point. So I've just stretched some uh, uh, tape across uh, exactly uh, 40 millimeters found center and then I'll stretch tape from the center point here to the center point here and run it down the side of the tank and that should be our line okay so it's going to end up looking something like this so once you've got your nice uh, straight lines so that should uh, the inside edge should uh, be exactly the same as the um, you know the line of the original roundel on my original tank uh, so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to uh, carefully take the tape rip the tape off here and very carefully on the inside um, both the top and bottom get rid get rid of this one so basically we'll leave a tape a bit of tape on this outside edge and this outside edge 
Right, then it'll look something like this. Now what we're gonna do is get some uh, nail scissors and cut the excess backing away uh, from the double-sided tape on this roundel. Uh, then I'm just going to get a little a loop of painter's tape and stick it to the back of the roundel so I, uh, you know, when I place it, uh, I can um, get an idea, uh, you yeah, know, if it's in, in line or not. So something like that, stick it on the back, trim it off, and then line up your, your lines and whack it on. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good to me. I'll use the, uh, the original tank as reference point just to double check. Um, but that looks okay to me. So what I'll do then, obviously take the backing tape off and um, of the uh, double-sided tape and plant it firmly. Uh, now guys, there may be an easier uh, way of doing this. You might be sitting back going, what's this crazy old dude doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, but hey, it works for me. Um, you know, it's the only way I could think of, of getting the, the roundel in, in the uh, uh, most original position. Uh, so look, again, uh, guys, if you have any criticisms, comments, complaints, leave them below. Uh, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot more stuff coming up. Uh, crazy stuff I'm going to do to the bike. So uh, I'm looking forward to making those vids very soon. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll also um, uh, put links below into you know, with the part numbers um, of the roundels. Now, don't forget... Whatever colour you think this tank is, leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and um, hit that bell notification for uh, alerts of upcoming videos. All right, guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying riding in this beautiful weather. It's an, uh, autumn down here in Australia, uh, probably spring in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, great to, uh, to see that you guys are getting your bikes out of hibernation. We, we live in a city here where we don't need to... Uh, uh, you know, wrap up our bikes for winter. We can ride year round, which is fantastic. Also, um, leave a comment below. Uh, tell me where you guys are from. Uh, it's very interesting to see so many people around the world watching the video. So I'd love to see where you guys uh, uh, are from. All right, all the best. Take care, ride safely, and uh, I look forward to making the next video.